Welcome to this week's edition of Retire Simply DFW, the show that's committed to helping take the complexities out of your retirement. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and I'm joined today by Scott and Angela Winstead. They are the co-founders of Compass Retirement. Scott and Angela, it's so good to be back with you for another week. How are you? Oh, wonderful. Thank Excellent. you for having us back. Yeah, yeah. so glad to be here. We oh. love coming and sharing. Well, I know that you love serving the entire Dallas-Fort Worth community, and a lot of folks are getting introduced to you on the TV show, mm -hmm. but you've actually had a podcast for a good while now. So would you mind telling our viewers a little bit about how they can connect with you that way as well? Go yeah, ahead, absolutely. So we started a podcast, believe it or not, in 2020 when everybody was mm -hmm. like stuck at home mm -hmm. as a way to just stay connected. It was something that we'd wanted to do for a lot of years, but quite frankly, just didn't have the time. But it's funny how COVID had time for <laughs> yeah. everybody, right? right? So um, we started a podcast and um, it's really taken off. And what mm -hmm. we do is we just take, um, you know, some sort of retirement topic and make it really easy to understand. All the episodes are 20 minutes or less. So if someone, you know, listens to podcasts or something like that. It's called Retire Simply. Mm -hmm. You can find it on all the major stations and channels. Um, but we love doing it. So we have a weekly podcast that we do. That's yeah. awesome. So how can folks find it? Oh, you can find us on any any of the different sites. Okay. You can find us on Apple, on podcast web. So it's spread out there pretty well. Just look for Retire Simply. Perfect. Um, and you know, one of the things I like to share is Scott and I are always talking around a kitchen table. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of language. It's a it's a really I think simple and easy environment to learn about some of the more complex things that affect you in retirement. And on one of the episodes, Angela actually shared a oh. family recipe for her Ooh. scalloped potatoes. Ooh. My and grandma they are these scalloped so potatoes. People, people yes. have added these potatoes into their Thanksgiving meals and Christmas I dinners and all of that. Yes. So for no other reason to check it out, go get the scalloped potato right. recipe. Yeah. Well, you know, the truth about that is, is it was a prized uh, recipe and nobody mm. shared it. So if any of my cousins are watching, uh -oh. <laughs> it's out there now, but everybody's enjoying it. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we all are so great. And you all are committed to really providing valuable information for your viewers and your listeners and have put together another great show for you at home today. We're going to be talking all about risks and specifically risks that you encounter when you're preparing for retirement. Now, I know 2022 was a rough year for a lot of folks and a lot of people who thought that they were invested conservatively, for example, ended up losing money in the stock market. And so let's unpack this whole concept of risk for folks and mm -hmm. what they need to really understand and know about it. Sure. So we tend to look at risk a little bit differently mm -hmm. um, than people that are not focused on retirement. Remember, when we retire, our paycheck stops. So to us, we're reassessing risk. Risk is any account that you can lose any money in, a penny in, because risk is a different a different game player. Mm -hmm. So for us, when I'm thinking about risk and what that might be, those are going to be the accounts that are invested in the market, right? Mm -hmm. Our 401ks, even our Roth accounts, if they're invested in the market. Um, we have different brokerage accounts. So any of your money that you have invested in a way that it can lose. One thing that people don't think about are, you know, we hear annuities are so safe and in lots of um, Lots of instances, they are very safe. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, variable annuities can lose money. And that's right. something that we found that a lot of people did not understand when they were coming into our offices and visiting during that time. Well, because not all annuities are equal. Right? Absolutely There's not. different kinds, and it's so important to be able to distinguish those. Yeah, yep, mm -hmm. and understand the basics. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, what, you know, I think Warren Buffett probably says it best, right? Like, you don't know who's swimming naked till the tide goes out. Yes, that's and true. And I think last year had a really <laughs> big thing. way of humbling a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. You know, when we even looked up at, you know, the last, you know, 13, 14 years leading up to COVID mm -hmm. and even 2021, right? We had this big run where everybody was making money and it sounded great mm -hmm. and people were feeling good. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, kind of the carousel stopped a little bit, right? Yep. And that's the last time you want to realize you're too aggressive when you just are maybe three to five years away from retirement or actually mm -hmm. three to five years into retirement. Mm -hmm. That kind of sweet spot right there, maybe that six to 10 year period mm -hmm. is the worst time to lose money in the stock market and in your accounts mm -hmm. because you just don't have the time to rebound and make it up. Right. So what we've got to do is, yes, you've got to take risk. Mm -hmm. It's very important, but it needs to be calculated. Mm -hmm. You need to know what could be the maximum amount you might lose mm -hmm. and if you're okay with 
with that, then what we've got to make sure is that we have a corresponding upside that kind of relates to that. So one of the things we help folks do a lot is take a really good look at where they're at. Mm -hmm. We actually have some really great software we can use to illustrate, hey, if another 2020 happened or another 2022 yeah. happened, mm -hmm. the way you're set up today, here's what it looks like. Are you okay with that? Right. And a lot of times folks say, no, I had no idea that I could mm -hmm. lose that much. So it's all about making sure that you're informed and educated on the front end so you can make really good decisions on the back end. For sure. Well, to your point, because this is really an, an interesting thing for folks to have to recognize and figure out, is you said there has to be a certain amount of risk. And that's to keep up with the pace of inflation and, and everything else that you know is, is facing our economic conditions right now. So how does one determine how much risk they should actually be taking, especially in retirement? Yeah, there are so many different variables for people. You know, we're always looking at the numbers and trying to make sure the numbers work out for your mm -hmm. retirement. Another really important thing are the emotions of retirement. So mm -hmm. that's something that we address for people first time when they come in. So when we're first meeting them, they've got all these different kinds of, of investments. They have money typically in lots of different places. We're helping them clean it up and take a look at what they've got. They kind of go through that financial mm -hmm. junk drawer, if you will, absolutely, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And when we do that, we typically do a fee assessment for people. Mm -hmm. um, and we also do risk assessments for people. Mm -hmm. Having that information lets you see, you know, where a lot of those different variables are. And it's kind of like taking your temperature, mm -hmm. right? We're getting ready to enter a new stage of life. We have to be prepared in a different way, but let's see how we are right now if we don't change anything. Mm -hmm. And that really gives us a solid foundation to, you know, have a conversation as to how risky someone wants to be. Mm -hmm. As we get older, of course, we want our risk to come down. Mm -hmm. um, but like you were sharing, we're dealing with lots of different things in retirement, mm -hmm. inflation, all kinds of things like that. So we have to make sure that we have enough risk. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's a balancing act, right? Sure. Um, yeah. And everybody's a little bit different. And at the end of the day, you know, you want to sleep good at night. Mm -hmm. And so there's the, I would say, the theory, right, and the right. rules and the recommendations. And at the end of the day, it also comes down to, are you sleeping good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you scared all the time? Do you mm -hmm. walk on eggshells if you're, you know, walking by the TV and you hear the Dow Jones went down a thousand points? Mm -hmm. You know, that's the last thing you want to be doing right. when you're on vacation or something like that mm -hmm. is having to have your breath mm -hmm. be you know, taken away because, mm -hmm. hey, you were too risky and you've lost too much money. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. So if you feel like, hey, I'd like to get a handle on my risk, I would really like someone to help walk us through this, and you're three to five years out from your retirement, just like Scott was saying, that's that very critical time, or you're already retired and you've saved $300,000 or more, I'm gonna invite you to pick up that phone. Take a step, do it right now for yourself. I know it can be scary, but get it done for you. You'll feel a lot better even just understanding the situation and knowing where you are. Pick up the phone and give us a call. Angela, Scott, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, we are going to take a quick commercial break, but that number to call is on the bottom of your screen. Simply dial 844-861-5203 to get started on your process of coming in, meeting with Scott and Angela and the team at Compass Retirement, and getting your own complimentary Retire Simply plan. All you have to do is call or you can take out your smartphone. Simply scan that QR code in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. That will take you over to a landing page, ask you a few simple questions and a member from the Compass Retirement Team will reach out to you to get your complimentary appointment scheduled for you that way as well. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about specifically market risk and some of the common mistakes that retirees make when it comes to managing their investments so that you can make sure that you avoid making them. More after this. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? 
The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Well, welcome back to Retire Simply DFW. I'm Kristen Oakley here with Scott and Angela Winstead, co-founders of Compass Retirement. We are talking today about market risk and specifically how that risk, how you need to be able to navigate it well in your retirement. So let's start with market risk specifically in retirement. What are some of the key things that folks need to understand about how you know there's a, a difference right between the accumulation years, the decumulation? So with market risk specifically, yeah. what can be done to mitigate that in your retirement? Sure, first I think understanding the shift, mm -hmm. and this is what I mean. When you're working and you're contributing to your 401k, when the market goes up and the market goes down, it's great because you're buying in low and all of these right. different things. But when you're preparing for retirement, our money goes through almost it's a huge shift, mm -hmm. right? Because we're doing a different thing. We're not saving and contributing anymore. Mm -hmm. We're taking what we have and hopefully making it last longer than we do. Right. Um, and so with that market risk going up and down, especially three to five years out from retirement, three to five years after retirement, Scott's gonna share a little bit about the sequence of returns and why that's so critical, especially during that time. But just a nice overall concept to think about is, hey, when the market is up, right? Mm -hmm. How can I take advantage of that? Well, if you're needing money in retirement, that might be a really good time to harvest some of your gains, right? Mm -hmm. um, in the office, I talk about just taking the cream off the top. Mm -hmm. So if we've got a certain amount of money and we consider that our principal, our goal is to just take the cream off the top. So it produces that for us mm -hmm. throughout retirement. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at the flip side of that and we actually need money in retirement and the market is down, Wow, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. So we've got this much money, it's shrinking. We have to sell some of our investments because we need it. So it goes down a little bit more, we take our money, but then for it to recover, it's starting the principal is starting so much lower right. and we're not adding money to that bucket anymore. Yep. So if we're thinking about the cream, right? Mm -hmm. And we've got, we've got just a smaller amount of money, it has a much harder time producing that cream on top. Mm -hmm. So that's one of just the very simple ways that we like to look at that market risk. Mm -hmm. It can be great when we're up and not so great when we're down. Right. Yeah, yeah I think to, to Angela's point, right, it's, um, it's really important that you're set up in a way that if the market goes down, you have the ability to leave that money alone mm -hmm. and have someplace else to be able to take money from that's not going to impact the account right and further lower twice, balance. Right? right hey the market yep. took my money and mm -hmm. i took some money mm -hmm. right right um and so we just want to be able to make sure that we're protected so whether the market goes up or the market goes down we we know we're going to be okay mm -hmm. and listen i wish i had a crystal ball and knew what the stock market was going to do but all we really know is hey some years we're going to get good years in the market and some years we're not mm -hmm. i don't know and we don't know and no one knows the no order the right, ball, right? right. And what these these returns mm -hmm. are going to come in mm -hmm. and so when you're working putting money into your retirement accounts the order that those returns come in really doesn't matter. You kind of start with this amount and you end with this amount, but the roller coaster ride in between feels a little different. Mm -hmm. But when you start taking money out of the account, the amount you start with and the order that those returns come in when money comes out of the account mm -hmm. can significantly impact your bottom line, the balance of what you have left because money's actually coming out of the account. Right. So it's not this roller coaster ride, but I'm gonna end up at the same spot. It's mm -hmm. this roller coaster ride and hey, if the order was good, mm -hmm. I may have a couple hundred thousand dollars more at the end. If the order was bad, I'm in a position that I could run out. Mm -hmm. And because it's such an unpredictable variable, we wanna make sure 
after we're taking that off the table, right. and there's a lot of strategies we can use so that we know, hey, this income is going to be there whether the market goes up or the market goes down. Mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, and to your point, there's so much that we can't control, mm -hmm. right? And nobody has crystal ball. Nobody knows what's going to happen. What you're saying is let's control the variables that we, we absolutely can. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask, what are some of the most common mistakes that you see folks making? I know a lot of people try to do this on their own. They're mm -hmm. trying to manage their investments on their own. Maybe they've enjoyed doing it. But they enter retirement, it's a different ball game. So what are some of the most common mistakes mm -hmm. you see folks unknowingly making? Well, I think one of the main things is, is making emotional decisions, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, no one likes seeing their accounts go down. Right. Um, and in fact, um, Julie was a, a, a person that we were working with and helping, um, you know, actually right when COVID started, she decided mm -hmm. to join. And when she had got to us, right, she had already sold at the bottom of COVID oh. because she just couldn't handle mm -hmm. the, the emotion coaster, right. of seeing her accounts mm -hmm. go down. Mm -hmm. And listen, we get it, right? It is hard mm -hmm. to not be knee jerk around that when, you, when it's your life savings. For sure. However, that is the detrimental time mm -hmm. to be making that decision. So one of the things is being emotional. And what Angela and I like to say is, you know, we, we take the promises and the commitments that we make to folks very, very serious. And we get how important this is to them. Mm -hmm. And one of the benefits we have is we're not overly emotional with someone else's money. Right. So we can appreciate it, but we also can guide and coach mm -hmm. and teach from a non-emotional place and handhold and say, hey, we get it. We know this mm -hmm. is not going to be fun, but there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Your retirement's very long. Mm -hmm. So we don't make three-month decisions or six-month decisions or even a year decision because your retirement's probably 20 to 30 years. Right. So we've got to make decisions mm -hmm. based on the long term. And it doesn't mean we sit idly by and don't change anything, mm -hmm. but we don't make knee-jerk reactions. Absolutely, yeah. So if you're wanting someone to help you navigate through this, you know, there are a lot of risks and it can be really complicated, even just talking about the sequence of returns. What? But if you want someone to help you break that down, this is what we do each and every day. We love helping people understand the obstacles and the risks and giving them different ideas and solutions for their retirement. So if you are three to five years from retiring and you've saved $300,000 or more, maybe you're even already retired, pick up that phone, give us a call. We have an incredible team that is just waiting to help you, waiting to take this complexity out of it, make it all make sense, and let you, together with us, make great decisions for your retirement. Angela Scott, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, we encourage you to get this third-party, independent, objective view on your investment situation so that you can make sure that you're making the best decisions with your hard-earned money. To start your complimentary Retire Simply plan, all you need to do is call the number on the bottom of your screen, 844-861-5203, or you're also welcome to scan that QR code. That will get you connected as well. For no cost, no charge, no obligation, you can come in, meet with Scott and Angela and the team of Compass Retirement to make sure that you're on track to navigate all the complexities of these different risks that can adversely affect your retirement. When we come back, we're going to be delving deeper into some of the strategies that Scott and Angela employ for their clients to help you navigate this market risk. More after this. The work never seems to end until the day it finally does. After nearly a lifetime on the job, you should be rewarded for all the time you spent working. Whether that's crossing off items on your bucket list, learning a new passion, or rekindling the love of an old one. After all, life isn't over when you stop working. It's the start of an all new chapter. The one where you're the writer and you get to choose how your story will go. A way to achieve that is by having a clear financial plan to sustain your golden years. The biggest fear most retirees have is if they'll have enough money to maintain the lifestyle they've always enjoyed. Having a plan to help protect you against the curveballs life often throws will help to maintain your lifestyle. Call today to get your free written financial plan so you may live every day to the fullest and enjoy the retirement of your dreams. 
Well, welcome back to Retire Simply DFW. I'm Kristen Oakley here with Scott and Angela Winstead, co-founders of Compass Retirement. We are talking today about all things related to market risk and navigating those complexities in your retirement. And before the break, we mentioned that we were going to delve deeper into some of the strategies and tools that you use to help your clients mitigate this risk. Yeah, absolutely. When we're dealing with risk, one of the most important things is to not be forced to sell. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way that we do that is we always make sure that we have some money, <clears throat> excuse me, that's protected, um, that gives us um, a different place to go. You know, we deal with so many different kinds of risk. But when we give ourselves options, right, maybe different mm -hmm. buckets of money to pull from, mm -hmm. we can help mitigate some of that risk. Uh, one thing I would like to say is there is a huge collection of tools out mm -hmm. there. Uh, we're independent, so we use tools from all over the place. Mm -hmm. As long as they're really good tools um, and it's a good match for you, we're going to go out and look for you know, what's going to best suit your needs? Right. What exactly are you looking for? Mm -hmm. How much risk can you handle? How much risk keeps you awake at night? You know, uh, retirement is very emotional. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we don't want people doing is feeling like they have so much risk that they're afraid to spend the money that they normally mm -hmm. spend. Mm -hmm. uh, we find that when people don't understand their risk, they really hold back. Right. And this is the time where we want them to enjoy their retirement, especially yeah. if we've kind of run the numbers, we've got some budgets. Um, I talk to people all the time about budgeting, and to be quite frank, I don't love that word. Right. But what I tell them is, hey, we're tracking our spending. Mm -hmm. We all have some bumpers mm -hmm. in retirement, or even when we're not retired. I'll tell you what, I know when I get out of uh, my normal routine of spending, don't you? You know <laughs> <Yes>. exactly <laughs> when you get out of it. So we want to make sure we've got safe money, mm -hmm. we've got our money very well diversified mm -hmm. and we're aware of our spending. Mm -hmm. So important and it's, yeah. it's empowering when you know where your money's going because then you know what you have, you know what to do and you can tell the rest of it where you want it to go so it works for you, yes, right? Yes, it's all about the knowing and the understanding, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. for it's sure. all about that. Yeah. yeah, so you know, we're building Retire Simply plans for folks, you know, and, and Simply is that acronym mm -hmm. um, so that we make sure we're addressing the six major areas of someone's retirement. and and. What we're talking about here is really falls under that the letter S, right? Mm -hmm. Shelter your money. Mm -hmm. Because at the core of who we are, what we believe is a portion of someone's retirement needs to be principally safe from the market going down. It just mm -hmm. means you can't lose when the market goes down, right? right? Mm -hmm. And yep. again, as Angela mentioned, lots of tools that can help with that. Mm -hmm. But it's something that's so important because what we find is, you know, um, Sometimes we forget how math works, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And here's what I mean. If last year the stock market lost 20%, and I just asked you, hey, you know, you were down 20% last year, how much do you need to make back to get back up to, to the number you started the year with? You know, you, you might be surprised how many people just shout out, well, I got to make 20% back, yeah. right? right? Mm -hmm. But that's not the way math works. No, it's not percentage math. That's what that's we talked right. about this yeah. on the show so, before, right? You know, yep. it's actually a 25% return mm -hmm. just to get back to that that original amount right. and so a lot of times when you're on this shortened time horizon right like mm -hmm. you don't you're, you don't have all your working years ahead of you and that yep. sort of thing that's where mitigating or not losing so much really comes into play we tell folks all the time mm -hmm. typically the success for someone's retirement will not be about the money they make during their retirement years yes we have to make money mm -hmm. but the success is really going to come to down to about the money that you keep mm -hmm. during protecting retirement yeah. and protecting yeah. and there's really three major things that we can control mm -hmm. that take money from folks in retirement so the fees someone pays yes. right fees are very important yep. you have to know what you're paying for for, what it's costing mm -hmm. you. And do you find just on that point that most folks come in, they don't have any idea how much so they're paying? Oh, many folks, they're so many um, surprised. Because it, when we talk specifically about fees, right, you know, they say, well, my advisor, or my, my planner charges me 1%. Mm -hmm. But they don't realize that there are other fees associated to the investments that they own, exactly. right? Yeah. So it's kind of two layers of fees. And so one of the things we do, as Angela mentioned, is we do that uh, a fee analysis. Mm -hmm. Sounds fancy, it's not. All we do is say, hey, here's what you're currently invested in, here's what you're currently paying your advisor and here's what you're paying for your investments mm -hmm. and because our brains don't work yeah. well in percentages mm -hmm. we take that that 
percentage and those dollars and actually show this is what it's costing you annually, mm -hmm. dollar wise. Mm -hmm. That makes all the difference in the world. Oh, you know, does. one of yeah. Scott's favorite things to do is to come up with all these different calculators because we're like, how can we make this just really easy to understand so it's easy to make decisions about? Mm -hmm. So he put this thing together because I'm like, Honey, I don't understand even when you're talking about 1.75 on this much money. Right. You know, you know how much I tip, so 1.75 sounds like nothing to me. But then when we put the dollars mm -hmm. to it, that's where people can almost feel into it. Like they totally get it then. Right. So, yeah. so fees being one yep. of those things you yes. can control, right? Yep. Another yep. one would be your taxes. Now we don't control mm -hmm. the rates, you know, the IRS mm -hmm. sets those, mm -hmm. but we do control our income. Mm -hmm. And by being in control of our income, in a sense you're in control of what we would say your taxation, right? right. You get to decide how much income you take or don't take mm -hmm. from places. Mm -hmm. um, but the third would be risk, mm -hmm. right? And that's really what we're talking about here is being in control and understanding what's the maximum amount you can lose, mm -hmm. okay? And, mm -hmm. and think of it like guardrails going down a road, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the further away the guardrails are from one side to the other on a road, the more you can swing in between as you're driving, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. So that would be more risk. Hey, mm -hmm. I could lose a lot more, but I could potentially make a lot more. Right. The closer we build those guard roads, rails to the road, mm -hmm. the less swings you see. Hey, I might not lose so much, but I might give up a little yeah. bit of my return. Mm -hmm. And everybody has a specific way that feels custom and good to them for where they want those guardrails set. Mm -hmm. So we walk folks through a process to really start to understand where that comfort level lies. Mm -hmm. And so that we keep you, as my dad used to say, between the ditches, right? right. And yeah. that's what we're trying to <laughs> yes. do. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for someone to help you keep, keep yourself out of the ditches and understand your risk guardrails and just understand the whole concept of making sure that you're okay through retirement, the fundamental way to make sure you're okay is to understand what's going on and we can help you do that. So if you are three to five years away from retiring, maybe you're already retired, you've saved $300,000 or more, pick up that phone, make sure that you understand what's going on. Retirement is a long game, not a short game. And we just wanna make sure that you are set up in the way that you want to be. So pick up that phone and give us a call. I know that your heart is to help people sleep better at night. Yes. And I'm sure that one of the common concerns folks come in with is, am I gonna outlive my money? All the time. And what you're saying is you can help navigate. We can't eliminate all risks. Every type of investment has a risk. Gosh, just leaving cash under the mattress, right? Yes. That, that's, that's going broke safely. That's inflationary risk. But to your point, you get to help folks mitigate and navigate how to minimize those risks as much as possible. Absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, it's always a joy to be with you, Angela, Scott. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to our viewers at home, we so appreciate you watching today. We hope you found this to be helpful and valuable as you think about navigating the complexities specifically surrounding market risk in your retirement. 2022 is a wake-up call for a lot of folks. And if you are ready to get a second opinion, to be able to come in for no cost, no charge, no obligation, meet with Scott and Angela and the team of Compass Retirement to see where you are in your retirement goals if you're on track to reach those. We encourage you, pick up the phone and call 844-861-5203. You're also welcome to scan that QR code to get connected to come in for your complimentary visit and retire simply plan as well. Thank you so much for watching. And as we like to say here at Compass Retirement, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.